the sun, feel the love, feel the fire, with the fire, with the fire, I am with the fire. And in case you are wondering, those amazing lyrics are in French. <laughs> Yeah, hello everyone, welcome. Today we are getting started on a brand new Let's Play of Let's Play Vandal Hearts for the PS1. And right off the bat, I'll tell you that this is a tactical RPG, much like if you've ever played uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, games like Shining Force, Fire Emblem, games like that. And this one's a little different though, this one's in 3D, or semi-3D, whatever you want to consider it once you'll see what I mean when you see it and every single battle in this game is pretty unique from each other and you'll see what I mean when I get there you can't just plow through enemies in this game there's actually strategy involved in every battle so I'm very excited to bring you this one it's a pretty linear game um, you know there's no exploration walk town exploring walking around or anything like that it's much like Final Fantasy Tactics where you go from map to map but anyways let's get it started and this this game is very very underrated it's not many people know about it and I think you'll enjoy it so let's get started and enjoy because I'm excited to bring you in now let's listen to the terrible 1996 PlayStation 1 voice acting <laughs> for over a millennium the fertile lands in the heart of this vast continent were ruled by the Holy Asha Dynasty, descendants of Taroa the Messiah. However, it is man's doom to forget. Amidst all the wealth and exotic pleasures, the nobility lost their way and sank into corruption and depravity, forgetting even the holy teaching of Taroa. It was in these days of unrest that the citizens, struggling under an oppressive regime, rose up and, under the leadership of Aris the Sage, took up arms against the kingdom. That was the first outbreak of violence in what would later be known simply as the Revolution. Nintendo Revolution. The Royal Army's counterattack was swift and fierce, but time and time again they were put to flight by the cunning strategies of Aris and the indomitable will of the advancing Liberation Army. Always gotta be an all-out war. Victory in hand, the rebels set up a council and worked to establish the continent's first democracy. And so, the Republic of Ishtaria was born. However, Aris the Sage, whom all hoped would lead the country, mysteriously vanished. Naturally. And has not been seen again to this day. He abandoned his fleet. Coward. Now, 15 years later, the shadow of war once again threatens Ishtaria. Yeah, we get these little cutscenes between chapters, so we don't get voice acting all the time. Most of this game is just a dialogue text, but you do get um, every chapter. Usually, you get uh, a little bit of voice acting and scenes like this. So, pretty cool little concept, you know. They really, they, they definitely put a lot of effort into this game. Um, the reason it's, like I said before, the reason it's it's not the most popular game is because it's extremely linear, but. Hell, it's just the battles in this game. I think this is honestly the best tactical game I think I've ever played. Alright, 1254 at Gilberis Island, the Castle Ruins. And this is pretty much what the world looks like, or the map looks like. It's uh, 3D. Not the greatest 3D, but you gotta remember this is PlayStation 1, early, early PS1. Soldiers. What is this place? I don't know, what is it? I hope it's not Chris's blood. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, a hidden room. 
room. Hidden room? Doesn't look that hidden to me. I mean, you guys just entered straight through a gate. How hidden could it be? Ah, yes. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. We all know what, touch, what happens when you touch the Holy Grail. The sparkle. It must be the Holy Grail. Don't touch it. Haven't you seen enough Indiana Jones movies? Uh, these rays. What's happening? I'll tell you what's happening, you idiot. It's a trap. Goodbye. Nice knowing ya. Maybe next time. <sighs> Much like you know, let me guess what happens. He unleashes some horrible force to cause chaos upon the world and destroy everybody. Isn't that how every game works? Well, no, not exactly. So this game split up into chapters, and chapter one, a premonition of war. Looks like Mar. That looks like an M. I swear that looks like an M, but it's actually a W, I guess, somehow. Eh. Weird lettering. Alright. Premonition of war it is. Let's get started. Ash! Ash! Ash? Uh, oh, sorry. I was just thinking. Well, you better get up. We've got trouble. We're surrounded. Of course we are. Surrounded by one, two, three, four, five, six guys. Wow. That ain't good. <laughs> You're trapped. Don't you know that this valley belongs to the fangs of Umbaba? And don't mind the text, guys. It's a little bugged. That's because I'm playing on an emulator, and this ROM is a little bit bugged, the text, but it's fine. They're just some dumb wandering peddlers. Ignorance is the root of misfortune, as they say. If you want to live, hand over everything you got. Although we'll probably kill you anyways. Yeah, a little bugged, but it's not a big deal. Zoot. Wah, you got that right. Zoot, zoot. Man called Ash says nothing. Hehe, <laughs> too scared to talk, baby? Watch this. This part's great. Bam! Uh oh. What the? Wow, you saw all that blood? That was kind of disgusting. Where's the stupid laugh now? Now you're the ones that are trapped. <laughs> Us three tra <laughs> Who the hell are you guys? <laughs> Ash Lambert. Third platoon, Ishtarian security forces. Diego Renault from the scene. Clint Ricard, likewise. Clint Ricard, that is such an awesome name. Ash of the Black Wind. Surrender quietly and we'll grant you your quarter. Ah, just kill him. Against only three? <laughs> kill them now. You know, we said we have them trapped. He's kind of got a point. There are six. There's only three of us. Victory, defeat the Zutgash, defeat. So in other words, our victory conditions, we gotta kill uh, this guy, their boss is Zut, all the way back here. And we die if Ash dies, because he's our hero. So, this is our battle engine, my friends. We can rotate the map like this, we can also uh, rotate in, how do we do that? No, that's not what I wanna do. How do I rotate in, no, no. All right, I don't know how to rotate it. I don't think maybe you can't, I don't know. Right, anyways, here's how the battle works. It is our turn and we can highlight between any of our characters. The enemies will not go until we're all done. So it's turn succession. So we'll start off, let's see. I'll start off with our archer, I suppose. I think that's the best way to go. So I select him, press the O button. Now I can move, I can action, like attack. This is his attack range. It's a straight line because he's an archer, obviously. Uh, I can be done. I can do stuff like push obstacles, examine obstacles. Very, very interesting things you can do in this game. So I'm going to start off with, obviously, my, my simple attacks here. So I'm going to move within two spaces of this guy because he's an archer. And I'm going to shoot. Now, one thing that's cool, which you'll learn as we go. Let me bring... Ash back here, and Ash will attack him. If you attack him head-on, sometimes he has a better chance of dodging. If you attack him on the sides, 
Much like uh, tactics. Oh god, he dodged. Damn it. That's what I was afraid of. But yeah, if you attack him on the sides, um, you have a better chance of hitting him, but you dodge that time anyway. One other thing is, you see how Ash is one spot away from the enemy? Well, now I'm going to bring Clint here, and I'm going to attack with Clint, and you're going to notice support, which means my attack is automatically stronger because Ash is also surrounding the enemy. So the more people you have surrounding enemies, the more support you get, and it just goes from there. There's a lot of a lot of things to learn about the battles in this game, and I'll explain them as we go. Anyways, our turn is done. We can't move anyone else, so uh, battle turn over. It is now the enemy's turn, and now they all get to move. And that's basically how the battles work in this game. It's back and forth that way. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. And this, again, this is just a simple battle just to get you accustomed to it. And the battles, again, get harder as we go. So we will learn little by little. All right, they're all done. They got one hit off of me. And now it's my turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my archer all the way back here. Since again, remember, he can shoot from pretty far. And it's all about strat strategy. I mean, you've, if you play tactical games, you kind of know how it works already, but. Yeah, know how it works. Okay. I'm gonna move Clint here. Clint will attack the archer. Yeah, baby. That's the other thing, too. Swordsmen. Um, swordsmen are very good against archers, as you just saw there. You one shot him. Um, archers are good against mages, I believe, and it varies. You'll learn the weaknesses of every every monster as we go. Oh, yeah, magic. He has something called Fairy Light Ash, which is a heal on himself. So, uh, we don't need it now, but we'll probably be using that later on as well. I'll show you that. A lot to show. Alright, let's kill this guy. See if we can finish him off. There you go, he's dead. So, so far it's pretty straightforward. Alright, everybody's gone. I'm done. My turn is done. Enemy's turn. Uh oh, hunters. That's alright, I want him to attack Ash. I'll show you why. <laughs> I actually want him to attack my, my hero. That's awesome. Give me your best shot. <laughs> and the cool thing about melee attacks... Oh, look at that, he's dead. <laughs> Counter attack. Yeah, the cool thing about melee is every time melee attacks in this game, you automatically counterattack. So that's one very important thing to keep in keep in note. Don't forget that. Okay, let's take out that archer back there, then we can take out the boss. See if I can reach him. Crap. All right, we'll move Clint first. I can't reach him. That sucks. Sucks, that sucks, that sucks. No problem. We'll just move Ash then. Forget the archer. Aha! Ooh! Ash! Diego! I'll just take out the boss. I was gonna show you Fairy Light, but I'll end up. Sh I'll show you that in our next battle. It's fine. Support! Good job, Diego. Diego just finished off our boss, and since we did our condition, the other enemy automatically is disqualified, doesn't count, we won the battle. Don't kill me, I'm pleading with you! 55 experience, Diego leveled up. Alright. Sweet. So I was hoping to kill that other enemy, it didn't happen, because he was all the way back there. It's fine, normally I do, but it's cool. Oh, and every time you win a battle now, you get money for each guy. That is the battle, folks. That is the battle. Diego, that should teach you guys, huh? Alright, guys. We're going to stop the episode here because we're pretty much all out of time. Um, pretty unique game, huh? I uh, hope you guys will tune in for the upcoming episodes. A very interesting game. It gets very good and the battles get very unique. So, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you for part two of Vandal Hearts next time. Later, everybody.